I'm really pleased to introduce to those of you who don't know, it's new for me, the group Wide Mouth Mason. I don't know why I didn't know about them. They're from Saskatoon. That's just down the road from Wadena, Saskatchewan, right? Mm -hmm. Ever been to Wadena? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you really have. That's amazing. These guys uh, have really burst onto the blues rock, onto the music scene, and the next year promises to be quite one for them of uh, showing up at the Montreux Jazz Festival in Switzerland in July. They've just returned from a trip to L.A. Let me introduce the members of the group here. We have Sean Farrow, who's the lead singer and lyricist. Am I saying that correctly? Yes. Yeah. Farrow, yeah. okay. Uh, Safwan Javed, mm -hmm. I've got that right, who plays drums, and Earl Pereira, who will be playing bass for us yeah. a little later on. Okay, so how did it all happen? Is this one of the, the basement groups that got together? Exactly. <laughs> I think so. We, we first started, Safwan and I were playing, remember the, the Greatest American Hero? Do you remember yeah. that TV show? Yeah. We played that song in jazz band when we were first starting. That was our first, I that was our introduction. You, had, you want to disassociate yourself from this, Earl. I don't blame you. And then I met Earl in high school and we played a lot of other songs that I'd like to disassociate myself <laughs> from. Like what? Come on. Uh, actually, songs that we were writing then. But yeah. you could tell they were being written by 15 and 16 year olds, <laughs> and then and then yeah, it's pretty much been that that same idea, that same feeling we had from playing in a basement, you know, that same thing of just playing music that we really really love, yeah. and that we can get into, and if other people can, then good. And it's been it's been nice to see that that you can do it exactly the same way with the with the same feeling in it, and and just doing it for our enjoyment, and still sign and a big record deal, and still have it go the way it's gone. Yeah. So, Saf, what's it, I mean, what's it like having made that step? You guys did put out your own kind of self-produced mm -hmm. album, but, but now you've got a self-entitled wide, wide Mouth Mason uh, with Warner Brothers, and it's a big deal. Yeah, well, we're told it's a big deal. I mean, none of us, I don't know if any of us feel that way, really, because we never went out looking for that. We never went out looking yeah. for a label to come on and support us and do the things they do. To be honest, we, I personally was quite cynical about big record labels and about the whole music business. Mm -hmm. And we, we researched it and we talked to a bunch of different people and found it as much as we could and, and decided to go with them because they were willing to support the idea of taking something that we created and sharing it with as many people as possible. And that's the goal of doing this. But the integrity of the music and without, the band. Would without be. changing the integrity of the music. Yeah. Everything, the reason why we did sign with them was because we were able to maintain things like creative mm -hmm. control and the ability to make choices ourselves. And I mean, that's what really anyone can ask for in How life. How old are you guys anyway? How old are you? I'm 23, and so is Sean, and Earl's 22. So you're just, I mean, this is pretty early in the music game to be this far. Well, not these days. You look around. Well, maybe like the not these days. Year olds and Earl, talk a little bit about the, the tour to L.A. And, and performing at the House of Blues. It was crazy. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much what I can say. I, could, I couldn't picture us. It, it was coming down to a week before we were leaving for it, and then, like, the night before, and I still couldn't see us playing there and then until we f I found ourselves there. caught up in, in it all and them telling us, yeah, well, you know, Prince just played here not too long ago and throwing all this stuff at me, I'm like, no way. But, um, but when you do get there, it's still people and we're still playing live, which is something we've stuck yeah. to that's got us through everything so far is just sticking together and doing what we do. Now, Sean, you broke one of the fundamental rules, though. Uh-oh, you heard the story? Yeah, you were more popular as the warm-up act than the act. That got a little blown out of proportion. <laughs> you know what happened was, I think George Thorogood could sense that we were kind of a little bit looking around going, we're from Saskatchewan, what are we yeah. doing here? And so he'd poke his head in our dressing room every couple nights and, and like jokingly say, you know, my family's coming tomorrow, you better not play that good again, or, right. or something like that. And it was all from a very supportive place more than a kind you of guys the are ultimate fired. compliment in a way yeah it was really so. nice of them yeah. it was great of them now the other thing that much is made of is the multi ethnicity here of the group so much so that when you were doing the kind of the pr shots you actually painted your bodies and said if you want a colored band here's a colored band yeah, yeah. we got <laughs> sick of that whole idea of yeah, you guys are a colored band. You're so multi-ethnic and so diverse. We don't see ourselves as that. Right. We're just human beings like anybody else. And the only foreigner in our band was Saf because he was from Prince Edward Island. And <laughs> yeah. from Saskatoon. That's yeah. We have to I speak to you about that, Saf. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that, I mean, for your generation, it really is different. You grew up together. You went to school together. This yeah. isn't a question of, gee, can we play with the guy down the street that looks a little different from me? No, of course not. Yeah. 
Yeah. And do the audiences have any response, or it's the same thing? The best response we can get from it is, is that they don't notice, that, that all they hear is the music and s see three guys playing, and yeah. that's it. So yeah. that's what I love the most. Now, are you still living in a van? Yes. <laughs> yes. What does that it's mean exactly? It's a nicer exactly? van than it used to be, but we're still living in a van. Is this because you are on the road, basically? Yeah, we're on the road steadily. So do you like each other? <laughs> And do you have any brothers or sisters? <laughs> yes, I have a sister. Okay, like imagine her. you wake up about five hours after going to sleep with your sister every day, <laughs> and you hop into a van right away and drive for maybe about ten hours or so, and then you work with her all night long, <laughs> and you eat with her, and then you go back to the place where you're staying, and you go back to sleep again. And it's, <laughs> so yeah, have anyone, to really with anybody, be You need to be able to give people space, and but. But I think we've, it's all, it's kind of like we're related now. We feel like yeah. brothers now. And, and brothers have times when they get along really, really well and can be around each other all the time. And then they have times where they just want to all go oh, off and do space. their own thing. We're going to take a short break. Uh, Sean Vero is here, Earl Pereira, Safwan Javed. Mm -hmm. I got it right. Ooh, Wide yeah. Mouth Mason is the name of the group. I'm going to ask them about this when we come back from the break. They're also going to play for us. Stay with us. Just stepping out for some air. Uh, watch out for the... Ah! Need a guiding light? Try no more moon rays. I like the widow light. Pereira and Safwan Javed, they are known as Wide Mouth Mason. Is it a jar? Yes. <laughs> Did all of your mothers cook and can? Is that what it comes from? It was a little bit from... There's a musician from Texas named Clarence Gatemouth Brown. It was from him, and he has a brother named Wide Mouth. And really... Naming your band is one of the hardest things you have to do when you're starting your band because if your name is Metallica, you're probably not a folk band. We didn't <laughs> want it to be anything where they could throw us in any kind of category too much. So I think we just, we just were thinking about it and then went, you know, we're wasting time. We could be playing. So just let's just pick it. a name and, and there happened to be a jar around. So it came. So Earl, do the jar people send you free jars? Is this a plus? <laughs> Uh, I don't, they don't ever send us free. <laughs> we never Maybe they'll free. sue us soon. Yeah, that's either. right. That could be <laughs> that. Now, you're going to uh, play a song for us that off, is off this new self-entitled uh, CD called Wide Mouth Mason. It's called Sister Sally. What's it about? Uh, um, a friend of mine told me a story about a, a family, really, but specifically a woman who was, who was being abused at home. And never having gone through that, any of us. I think we. this was the one we tried hardest to be delicate about and not yeah. step on any toes and, and try and paint it a, a picture of a person with dignity. Mm -hmm. Because everyone just always says, well, why don't they just leave? And we wanted to make sure that that makes the, the woman sound like the person in the wrong, or the person, yeah. whoever it's happening to, the child or the man. And we wanted to make sure that it didn't come across that way. So that's what it's about. Let's listen to Sister Sally by Wide Mouth Mason. But for now it brings her 
right on back to his head. Yes. So drive or take that train to another place tonight. He's waiting and her supper's getting cold. Her heart's too big for him to make her feel so small. got a really good sound. You write the lyrics together? Uh, yeah, we do. A lot of times I'll come up with the first idea as I end up singing it. And then it they or, pitch or, in. Yeah. I gotta say, these guys are about to get in a van and drive to Kitchener, Ontario and perform. Thanks we had for, to come see you. Right? Yeah, thank you so much. I'm not just saying you're good because you're from Saskatchewan. <laughs> but it helps. Come on, see you. All right. Now, uh, just a note about uh, next week. We're going to be preempted on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday for... Hello, uh, everybody. <laughs>